everybody it's Jennifer and I wanted to do this quick video for you today to talk to you about how you can create your own customized audio files using a program called Audacity and Audacity is basically an audio editor that allows you to upload audios and record your own customized files using that video that audio editor Basically, if you have an, an audio file that you want to uh, edit in some form or fashion, you want to splice, you want to do a, uh, a talk over where you are uh, talking over a particular audio, you can use this program called Audacity. So let's go ahead, you can actually go ahead and Google Audacity download. And once you do, you're going to see a link that's this one. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And once you do, you're going to get to this page. You're going to have the option to select your appropriate uh, format, be it Windows or Mac. So go ahead and click on whichever applies to your particular computer and follow the instructions for installation. Now, if you are going to what I definitely suggest as well is an additional download. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and select Audacity for Windows because that's what I'm using. What you can do after you get to this screen is, of course, download um, the installer. I, select, I would select this file because it automatically starts to download for you. Uh, but additionally, what I suggest is the optional download which is this file the LAME MP3 encoder and basically what this does is it allows you to to download your files in an MP3 format which is generally what most audio files uh, that you're going to want to use um, that's the format that is most suitable so make sure that you download that that additional plugin because it will allow you to do that so Go ahead and install Audacity and also go ahead and install this MP3 encoder. I have actually done both, so what I'm going to do now is guide you through how to use Audacity, basic instructions. So this is uh, the Audacity program. This is what it's going to look like. What you're going to want to do is go to the file and click on import audio. So this is the mp3 file that I'm actually importing into the system. It's going to take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause this video and come right back to you once it's done importing. Okay, so as you can see, the audio is actually imported into Audacity. And if you are following along with your own file, then you may see that it looks a little bit different. Basically the reason for that is because I am using a binaural audio file. So this actually includes two different audio frequencies at the same time. Normally you would just have the one row right here, but I have two. So if you only see one, don't be alarmed. Uh, so what you're going to want to do from there is go ahead and record your voice over this audio. So I'm not going to do that in this particular recording uh, because it doesn't make sense to do that. This is an instructional video. But what I wanted to do is just give you some basic information on how you can use this program to edit your audio files. So go ahead and record. Once you've done that, you're going to want to select File and export audio. And basically what that's going to do is allow you to export this particular audio program into an MP3 file wherever you desire on your computer and then you would just hit save. And that is basically it for a basic audio recording. What you may want to do is um, do a bit of effects. You can actually fade in um, the audio so it's a little less loud in the beginning 
fade it out. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. What I suggest is for if you want to do any of these type of customizations is that you go to uh, this actual, well actually no that's not the page. Once you download this file you're actually going to also have access to uh, the manual but here I see on the, the right hand side audacity manual so this is going to give you all the different instructions on how to edit your file so we're not going to get into all kinds of specific scenarios in this particular video um, if you do have any specific questions you can go to this particular page manual.audacityteam.org forward slash o forward slash and you'll get very detailed instructions on how to do advanced editing. So that is it. Um, I hope this audio was, or this video was uh, helpful to you and give you some quick idea on exactly how you can create your own customized audios using Audacity. Take care.